Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proenz and today we're going to talk about your Harvard problem set 5 of CS50 introduction to databases with SQL. So in this exercise we're going to work with indexes, that is the main part of our lecture, and this means we're going to work in optimizing our code, because so far the queries we've been doing were working with, we're spending too much time, and now our goal is to use the indexes to make this a little bit more faster, all right? We usually create index for queries that we're usually using, and this is something we're gonna take a look. Instead of doing all the time the joinings to search some particular query we want, we're gonna create this index that will easily find this query for us, all right? So in this exercise, you need to download the distribution code, and you will see that we have, let me run here, dot schema. We have, if I'm not mistaken, five tables. We have the table for students, enrollments, courses, satisfies, and requirements, okay? And all of those tables, we have some columns inside, but we're not gonna worry about every column right now. Our focus will be finding here in where they give us the typical select, insert, update, and delete queries to find which indexes would be nice for us to apply, all right? So let's start working here. We can do this type dot timer on or off if we want to see the time we're going to spend and this is more about for you to know how to use it when you're doing it on your own our goal here is to understand how the index will work let's take a look in here in the all the selects so here we can see that the join for the courses is important to know the id of the course since this is a primary key we won't create an index for it we also need to work with the student id and let me take a look i think this is pretty much the two tables we're going to use to connect when we're doing a join all right, uh, let's take a look in the other one. And also requirement ID will be important. So since they are IDs, we won't worry about it right now. Okay, so let's work with the students table. So the students table in all the cases here, we're working only with the ID, so we won't create an index. Now let's take a look with the courses table. So in the courses table, something that is important, sometimes we're asking to work with the department, right? So here, we're again working with the department. I think this is pretty much in this part. So since we saw here at least two examples we're working with department, let's create an index for us. So this is the structure. Create index, the name of our, uh, the title we want to give on, the name of our table, parenthesis, the column we want to create this index. Okay, so let's do the following. Create index and the name I will give is edx courses department. I'm going to say on, and what is the call, the table we have? Department. So if we take a look in here, department is in the courses table. So I'm going to say courses, parenthesis, department. Okay? You can add quotation mark and all of that, or no, it's up to you to decide. So this way we're creating our first index. The next one, we need to work with the courses title. As we can see in here, we are always being asked to use the name of the title. Let me see here. Here we have the course title, Advanced Databases, so it will be nice. Or in here, for example, we're working with the title, History, so it will be important for us to have a query to easily find the title of every course we have. So I'm gonna do the same strategy. Create index, edx, courses. I'm gonna give a representative name, and I'm gonna say title on courses, parenthesis, title. All right. And the next one, another thing we can see here in this example they give us is that we usually use the department with the number of the, the course and the semester it will be uh, taken. So we can create another relationship with these three parts of our table where we know the department, number and semester easily. So let's create an index for us. So create index, I'm going to call edx courses uh department number and semester on and i'm gonna make the relationship with these three columns so it's department number